this is from Wazibi Gale, great social media handle. Um, you shared a gospel for your music and spoken word pieces, but what is your process for writing these? Is it a feeling or a word from God? And then how do you take that and transform it into a message in song form? That question is super, super cool. So yeah, yeah like how, how does it happen? It's like almost hard for me to even describe because like, I don't, I barely, I don't even really think about it. Like, mm -hmm. like I don't sit down and be like, okay, today I'm going to write da da, da 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 Like, I'll just be like in a moment or in a, like, I'll be thinking and then I don't know, like it just comes to me. I think it, it's a feeling, but then it's also like, like basically usually how I write is I'm having this like really overwhelming feeling or like mm -hmm. I'm overwhelmed by thoughts. And a lot of the times it's like, I don't even know what it is. Like, I don't even know what I'm feeling. So it's like, I have to write it out to try to like flesh it out and try to like make imagery of what is happening or like, yeah, to like, it's, it's my own process of understanding what it is that I'm feeling or thinking. Almost all my songs are just like written all at once. Like yeah. they're just, it just it comes out all at one time. It is so weird because I think it also is like, it is like God speaking because when I like will go back and listen to it or like read it, I'm like, I don't remember like writing this down. Do you know what I'm yeah. It's like, it's a super weird feeling. Oh, because I, and like even like songs like from a long time ago, I'll listen to it and I'll be like, it feels like God is talking to me, but it's like it's not like it wasn't my words. Yeah, so it's really weird. Yeah, so that's that's I don't really know cool. if that answers the question, but no, yeah, I think it does um, definitely. But I think what would you say though in terms of like um, would it, would it be an experience? Say for say for example, when you've wrote um, Anchor and you've made that, would you say it was an experience that you've had? Um, in your faith with God that has happened that has made that song happen or you are you just saying it's just like an inspir a moment of inspiration it is it's like a, it is a moment with God because like I purposely you you have to go to the place of just you and Jesus you know to just write it like it's not like I'm just like oh man I just want to write a like how can I write a good song like that's like dumb to me because yeah <laughs> Song's gonna have absolutely no meaning to anybody. So I used to be way more emotional when I was younger. Like yeah, I would, yeah. every time I would write, I would just be like crying, and then I'd be like writing, <laughs> like having this amazing moment. And it's still like it's still that way, but just different. I guess. So would you say it's more spontaneous than planned? Like you would, you you yourself oh, sure. couldn't pl plan a day to just do songwriting. You need to like just feel that um, yeah, connection with God, etc. It's it's like the thing I struggle with because sometimes I'm like, okay, if I really, like, if I want to do music full time, then it's like, sometimes you have to create even when you don't feel like it. But like, I really have a hard time with that. Like, yeah, no. I like that because I, I can write certain things like all the time. Like I can write about love all the time. There are certain subjects like write about, but yeah, I always just have to be I, I to actually write like a song I would ever put out like it's like it, it's very spontaneous like yeah it's not planned at all that's really cool and do you have any like advice for any if we, any of um our followers if they're like budding worship artists um in the making do you have any like advice for them my only advice is to just be authentic and don't try too hard just don't be a try hard I feel like <laughs> Yeah. Nobody likes to try hard. No, you don't. You don't listen to songs where they're just, you know, you don't yeah, listen yeah, to things where people just do it just to want to do it. And also, at like when you meet people who want to just be worship artists, yeah. You know, but like they don't really care. It's not true. It's not coming from who they are. Like you're gonna make a better song if it's what you really are feeling and what you're really thinking than mm. what you think people want to hear. You know? Pretty sure, yeah. And actually, on that, on that note, I'm actually quite interested by this question. This question might take up the whole podcast, um, but I think it's a really good one. But, like, do you ever have moments where you're just like, oh, I just don't feel like doing any more, like, not any more worship songs, but just music in general? Because obviously it's a God-given talent. Um, but, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Like, when I first started making music, like, obviously I had nobody was listening, and so, like, I didn't think about when I would release something or when I, uh, you know, I, I wasn't thinking of all these things. Mm. And so 
like I was just putting up music whenever I wanted. And it was like almost every day, I think, because I was just like, it was so new and so exciting. And then, um, yeah, like I have like songs that I've written and stuff and songs that I like have, but uh, sometimes I'm just like, yeah, like I don't feel like, or like there was one part where I'm like, I don't think I'll ever write a song again. I don't think I'll ever write a good song. Like I just feel no inspiration. Like I have no, or it's like when I feel like I've exhausted writing about a certain topic but it's like but Mm. that's what i'm feeling and i can't get out of it like so like for a long time i was like really like in a dark place in a way yeah yeah of course and so like and i was in that place for like years and years and years and it's like and that's all i could write about and then i was like i'm like i can't write about this anymore like i've written as many (laughs) songs about this as i possibly can and so then i was like i'm just not gonna write another song until it's gonna until i'm it's different yeah and so sure. yeah i don't know so, but so would you say with your like um you're going viral because you've got like um, a million hits on anchor is that correct i oh, think so name. yeah which is really yeah, cool that's really cool so do you do you think that's just come out of like you loving in the moment um loving doing the worship for god and writing it for god and it's just come it was never like a plan for you to have a million hits on the song is that am i getting yeah. that right <laughs> I didn't even know I, yeah. I didn't even do music until I was like like I didn't start making music until I was 17 really? like, I didn't even sing in front of people until I was like 17 ever I, I was like I did art mostly mm-hmm. like I drew like I drew and painted and stuff a lot and um yeah I never ever ever even thought I would sing in front of anybody like I played my guitar wrote my songs but I never thought that they would go out into the world and then yeah one day it just kind of started happening. Like I just started to kind of let my voice out. And then people like that were around me were like, Sarah, you're really good. And so I was like, wait, what? And then so I kind of just slowly but surely like became more confident and like wanted to share. And then, and then I started putting music on SoundCloud just cause I was like, this is so fun. Like, and like, I loved, it was something that was really like fun to me. And, um, oh yeah, I never, I genuinely like, I don't under, it doesn't like, like calculate in my brain that like people are listening to my music. Yeah. Sure. Like it just, it's so weird. And like, I, yeah, but I, I don't, I don't care about how many people like, yeah, of obviously it's cool. Like if there's a lot of people listening and they're like, it's like changing them, like that's so amazing. But, but I, I really don't care. Like yeah. I really, cause yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, and I don't, I don't ever try to make something. Oh, this is gonna be a, mm-hmm. a lot of people are gonna like this. Oh, this is gonna be a hit. Yeah. Like, anchor I just made. I was like, I was like maybe eighteen. I think I was seventeen. I was in high school, and I like made it, and I was just on Logic, and it's the first time I like, I like use like loops and stuff to like make a beat, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so fun! Ah! And then I like recorded it, put it on SoundCloud, and then people really liked it, and I'm like, what? And then yeah. <laughs> And so when so, you're talking about the beats then you there you were talking a foreign language to me but yeah like you produced that all yourself uh, from 17. yeah i produced it by myself that's good like but yeah no yeah the only like literally everything is only myself other than on one of my albums xxvi my friend mm. he helped me like with the beats and stuff with some of them cool. but yeah I, I i i do everything by myself that's so cool. From 17. I wish I had yeah. to make that determination to learn it that quickly. <laughs> That's really cool.